this one. We have a load here. We have no idea what's in the load. We have a load with a power factor of 0.8 lagging. The power delivered to the load is 40 kilowatts. So the power is 40 kilowatts delivered to that load. This comes from 270, right here, a voltage source of 270 angle zero RMS. We're using frequency equals 60 hertz. We never used the frequency in the previous one. Here, probably have to use it. And the question, what value of a capacitor placed in parallel with the load? I'm gonna put a capacitor here. Placed in parallel with the load. We'll raise the power factor now. Instead of 0.8, the new power factor here becomes 0.9 lagging. You said it's um, 0.9, right? Yep, 0.9, the new one. Is that what it says here? No, you can't see it. In the oh, sorry, so. yeah. Wasn't sure like it didn't show. Let's look at the old one without this. Let's look at the new one. Let's find the complex power of the old, complex power of the new, and the difference between them is actually the capacitor. So let's try to find uh, the old one. The old load. What do we know about the old load? It has 40 kilowatts. Now that 40 kilowatts, is that Q? Is it P? Is it S? What is it? Is that the complex power? The real power? Or the Q value? That's the real power. Why is it the real? Kilowatts, exactly. Yep, that's the real power. So that's really P old. So if you're looking at it, picture-wise, this is the old power. This is P old. This is Q old. We know this angle here. Can we figure out what that angle? What's this angle? Inverse cosine of, Inverse cosine of 0.8. And isn't that the same angle we just did two minutes ago, or was it? Uh, inverse cosine of 0 0.8, 36.9. How about, I just, you know what, I'm gonna put 37. I'm not gonna write, worry about two decimal places. How about 37 degrees? Positive, because it's lagging. Can I find now Q old? Using geometry? Isn't tangent? Yeah, P old is this one, the real power. Tangent, 37 degrees is equal Q old over P old, which equal Q old over 40,000. So what's Q old? Times 40K, right? Tangent of 37 degrees times 40,000.
and it's 30,000. 30.1, 30.1 kilovar. So S old, the old load, is going to be the real value, which is 40 kilo, 40 plus J, 30.1 K. If you want the units, that's VA. Now let's look at the new one. You're putting a capacitor in it there. So guess what? That real portion is not going to change. That's still going to be 40. Because that capacitor does not affect the average power. So the new one, if I look at it, old load, that becomes the new load. Give me another sheet of paper. I'll wait. Take your time, Joe. Rest my arm. The new load, what you have to look at the picture now, is what you're looking at, this picture. That includes the capacitor and the old load combined. It still has 40 kilowatts, but the power factor is going to be 0.9 power factor lagging. And this is still 270 angle zero. That's what the new load is. By putting the capacitor, this becomes a new load for us. The average power doesn't change. Power factor becomes 0.9. So let's do the math again. We can find the complex power. We know P nu, which is 40K. We know it's lagging power factor, so cosine, negative cosine of 0.9, 25.8, about 26 degree. We can live with that. So this is what I know, the new one now. This angle is 26 degree. I know this value is 40 kilowatts. Can I find Q here? The same thing. Tangent, 26 degrees equal. Q nu over what? P nu, the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite over the adjacent. Tangent 26 equals Q, the new value of Q, over 40K. Can we get what Q new is? Tangent 26 degree times 40,000. 19.5 kvar. So what is S new? S new is going to be what? The real portion, which is 40 plus J 19.5 kVA. Now, the average power is not going to change, really. So I can cheat if I want to, but I'll leave it there. I can say the new S is equal to the old S plus S for the capacitor. The new S, 
S nu equals S old, that's S for this plus S for that. Well, this doesn't have a real portion, but let's do it. So S nu equals S old plus S for the capacitor. What's S nu? S nu, where is it? Here we go. 40K plus J 19.5K equals S old. Where's my S old? 40K plus J 30.1K plus S for the capacitor, which is zero. The real portion is zero plus the imaginary portion. And we'll leave what that is for now. We'll call it QC. So what do you notice about this? That's the 40Ks will cancel each other. That's why a lot of times this equation is actually being shrunk a little bit. To what? To Q nu equals Q old plus Q capacitor. A lot of times you see it written that way because you know the real portion is going to cancel. So what's left? That's the Q nu, that's the Q old, and that's the Q for the capacitor. So instead of even putting the real, they go to that. So we know 19.5, I can drop the J's, equals what? 30.1K plus QC. And QC, actually it's J and J here. I, can, I can't drop the J. So, but QC equals what? Negative J something. If this is we drop the J, it's very, Well, I just want to, because you know the value for it is negative J omega C, uh, you know. Okay. So I just want. Well, as long as the number is negative, I can drop, because that's a J here too, right? So I can drop the J. That's all right. There we go. I can do that. I know the J is going to drop from each one. I was about to put J and J here. So I'll just put the negative value. What's 19.5 minus, minus what? 30.1, which is negative 10.6K. Correct. QC. QC, yeah. Yep. And now we need to find what C. Hmm. How do we go from QC to C? What's that number equal to? Anyone? Have to do with the negative J omega. Okay. You say what? Negative J omega. Or, or J divided by. Negative J over omega C. That's the impedance, right? So isn't that, let's see, the impedance for that is negative J over omega C. Right? The impedance negative J over omega C. That's the Z value. And do we know what the voltage across the capacitor? Let me go back to this one. 270, right? Angle zero. Well, what's omega here? Well, omega was 60 in this problem, right? And not omega, I'm sorry, F equals 60. Omega is 2 pi F. So 2 pi times the 60, which is what? 377. That's what omega.
So I can use QC, the magnitude of that, equals, you take this one, that'll be negative, negative what? The voltage across the capacitor squared times omega times C. Why the voltage? Remember, it's V squared over Z. So if you do V squared, it's 270 squared divided by this one, or the magnitude of that. Well, the magnitude of that, you take the square root of negative J. That's a negative 1, or the magnitude of this, if I do that, it's the magnitude of the top, or J squared is minus 1. And that omega C will go on the top, and you end up with the minus 1 in the bottom. 1 over that number. So that's where the minus sign. So negative 10.6 equals negative, uh, what was it, 270 squared times 377 times C. Can I find what C is? That's a K here. I forgot to write the K. 10.6 K. Oh, uh, forget to turn it on. 10,600 divided by 270 squared equals divided by 377. I need a capacitor roughly here of 3.86 times 10 to the negative 4 farad. Which is really approximately, that's equal to, move the decimal point two places to the right, 386 microfarad, micros 10 to the minus 6. That's what the value that you need. So just remember, QC is equal to negative, the voltage squared, omega C. Once you know that, you know that number, plug it in, and you have your answer.